Hey there everyone, it's Thackard and welcome back to a Blueberry Shorts episode. So earlier today I put up my thoughts on the most recent patch which is the Battle Pass Season 0. Now when I did that I went over everything else in the Battle Pass, winter changes and stuff like that. But this episode of the Blueberry Shorts is all about the Battle Pass itself. I'll show you where it is, how to get it, and what all is unlocked by it. So, let's hop in the game and take a look. Okay, so here we are in-game, and to get to the Battle Pass, they have put a brand new button right up here at the top of the screen. It is the Battle Pass button. And to uh, get to the Battle Pass menu, we will just click it, and here we are. Battle Pass menu. All right. So looking at this menu, there are a couple things right off the bat. First off, we have this right here. This is the current season that we are in, and this is the number days that are left in it. Now to the right here is all the stuff we will be unlocking. We'll get to that in just a minute. But for most people, this is what you're going to be looking for. This is the cost. This is the only way you can purchase it. You can only purchase it through gold. It is 1,950 gold. And just to show you where that comes in, $10 US buys you 2,200 gold. So this is under a $10 price tag in the US. They priced it this way as long as, as well as everything else in this battle pass season zero, because it's kind of a test phase. It's a test thing. Um, and they want your information and your input on how you like things uh, over on the Discord. So think about the pricing of it. Think about the things that you get from it, uh, the XP per level, how long it takes you to level to go between levels, anything like that. Any input that you guys have, make sure you go over to the official Discord and leave it there for them. They will take a look at people's responses and the input of the community, and they will use that to change the Battle Pass for next season. All right, so we've shown you how to buy it. Let's see what you will get for it. Now, buying out the uh, buying the Battle Pass will grant you the first tier automatically, and each tier has some things that are the same, but one thing that is completely unique. So for each tier, if we kind of quickly scroll through here, you can see that you get some credits and some war funds, 10,000 of each uh, specifically. You will get some boosters for ribbons, and then you will either get a rank XP booster or a 24 hour veterans membership or both. So some of those are both, some of them are one or the other. And those are the the, uh, the first nine levels of each tier. You'll be getting some of that. Now, each tier also has something unique, and this is in the 10th level. So if we look down here, we can see that we will be getting for our 10th level. This is winter themed uniforms for infantry. Now, when you get this, you will be granted it for every single faction. So it's not just one, and you have to throw it on maybe your German guy. You'll have one for your German, your Soviet, and your U.S. infantry. So it's for everyone on that account. Not, not sorry, not everyone on the account. You still have to put it on a soldier, but you will have one uniform for each faction. All right. Uh, I'll put those uniforms up on screen right now so you guys can all take a look at them. Uh, they're pretty good. I think the Soviet is by far the best. And then the American has the next one. And then the German one is nice, but I don't like the pants. I think they should either be a gray pants or the, the uh, was it the Splitter Muster Mountain, I believe it is? The pants for that would match much better. I have to say the U.S., that uniform can be used year round. That's a nice uniform. All right, next up we have Tier 2, which is the uh, anti-tank weaponries. So again, I'll put them up on screen. We will be, uh, you will be getting uh, winter skins for the M9A1, the Panzer Shrek, and the Ampula Mets. Now the third tier 
you will be unlocking the colored smoke or planes. How this specifically works, I don't know. I haven't gone that far yet. I haven't stuck it on a plane. But uh, I'm assuming it will just, I don't know if it's when you're burning or if you hit a button and you can leave a trail behind you like you would see behind, say, a, a, a Skyrider or something like that. Or a fighter jet doing demonstrations. So, could be interesting. Kind of nice. Next, for tier 4 and 5, we have two things that are going to be very unique. Now, these are really quite nice, and I'm excited about this, because what else can they do this with? These are new equipment packs for your vehicles. So currently you have the uh, medic crate, you have the ammo crate, and you have the Panzerfaust. Well, tier 4 at level 10 gives you a flamethrower that you can get from the crate on your car. While tier 5 gives you a satchel charge, that's the US heavy grenade for that same equipment, uh, that equipment crate on your vehicle. Both of those are really cool. So now, if you are a person that doesn't like having grenades on your person, you can put one on your car, toss it up into the attic of some place, clear them out, and just go about your business. I think it's wonderful. All right, tier six gives us three more uniforms. Show them right up top here again. These are for the paratroopers. And once again, you get one for each faction. And here, oh, as much as I like those equipment boxes, this stuff, this stuff, I will really, I'm really excited about. Tier seven, these are winter themed paint jobs for the Stug 3, the M18 Hellcat, and the SU85, and they look good. Tier eight, we have, whoop, tier eight, there we go. Tier eight gives us uh, winter camouflages for the starting level of the recon cars. So we're talking about the M20, the 250, or the BA-64. Tier 9, we got some really nice winter paint jobs for the, uh, the Tier 2 heavy tanks. So the IS-2, the M26 Pershing, or the King Tiger, the Tiger 2. I have to say, the blue of the IS-2, different, but I think I really like it. All right, level 10 is going to be all about the spawn vehicles, specifically the APCs. So we're talking about the M3A1 for both the US and the Soviets and the 251. They all get these new winter camouflages, which look wonderful. Tier 11 gets us winter camouflages for the motorbikes for each faction and the motorbike plus the sidecar for each faction. So that's quite nice. And lastly, we have Tier 12. Now, Tier 12 has uh, the face paint. This is not to be confused with the gimp masks that were on the Trello page. These are face paints. It's much more similar to, say, the, the kind of racial face look that you have for your different soldiers, how you equip those, but these are face paints. Um, I've seen a couple of screenshots with them, and they're quite nice to look at. Now, um, you will have one of those for each faction, and they're all kind of different and unique. Now, the only thing we haven't gone over is that when you buy these levels, you have to spend your time in-game earning XP to level them up. Now, you don't have to do anything special. Any XP you gain, so at the end of the level, that total XP that you get, all that XP goes into the tier system here for the Battle Pass. So all you have to do is play the game to unlock it. Now, if you do not want to wait and you want to jump ahead, you can pay 950 gold per level to unlock the next level. All right, and you can, and you can unlock through all the levels up through level 11. Now, level 12, the final level here, you have to unlock that one only by playing in-game. 
There, you cannot unlock this last level, this last tier with gold. You must play to be able to get those face paints. So that is a look at the battle pass. Um, I don't have any of them in game just yet. I hopefully will get those in the next couple of days. And uh, I'm sure there will be some posts up on different uh, threads on the Reddit or over on the Discord as well if you would like to take a look at them in game. Um, I'll try and post them up on my Discord once I get all of those unlocked. So if you want to go follow that, that's over. Uh, just look below the stream and you can find the Discord link, my Twitch link, and uh, anything else that you might be looking for. So I hope you all have gotten a little bit more knowledge on this battle pass so far i think it's the stuff that you get for it for under 10 bucks worth it worth it i think it's well worth it i mean i i would literally pay 10 bucks for these uh these at skins alone you know and that, that's not even getting to the, the the tank skins over here these tank skins are just great I, I'm so happy that they're bringing things in. I'm so happy that they are being, that you can only get them with gold. It's something that I think that uh, Ritu should have done a long time ago, and I'm glad that they are doing it now, because people like cosmetics, and Ritu likes money. So maybe we can help each other. We get cosmetics, they get money, they fix bugs, they make new maps, the game continues on. Not too shabby. All right, guys. I hope you all have a wonderful time in-game. Up next, we should be getting back to the SMGs in the Blueberry series. So, talk to y'all later. If you enjoyed or disliked this video, I do hope you comment on it and give it a thumbs up or down. If you want to see new videos, please hit the subscribe button. And to be notified of new content when it comes out, hit the notification bell. But for now, thanks for watching. Have yourself a great day, and don't forget to bring it no matter what you do. And I will see you guys in the next video.